Now, we 31 Storm Tracker meteorologist Grace Anello with 31 Triple Doppler. I am actually excited about the rain. I'm a little disappointed I haven't seen more of it today, and that's not an easy thing to say. I know. But after that wind yesterday, I really just want to change. I don't yeah. want that again. That yeah. was a lot. I, well, yesterday was so hit or miss. Mm -hmm. I had a viewer in Town Creek that messaged me this morning right. saying he got 2.51 inches of rain. However, in Huntsville, that's our national... Specific. Yeah, it is. It is. He had a rain gauge. Uh, in Huntsville International, it was just over about an inch and a quarter. Right. Some of the rest of us didn't see a drop. Okay. Now, today, that's very different. We still have a severe weather risk in effect today, and many of us are yeah. going to get a lot of downpours today. Okay. All right, take a look right now at 31 Triple Doppler, 1117 on your Friday morning. A touch of rain in Sand Mountain, particularly in Jackson County, kind of scattered all around. But the heaviest of the rain we're seeing is pushing into the shoals, and it's already bringing a whole lot of rain. Now, we've gone back and forth on whether or not we're seeing lightning with this cell just south of Tuscumbia in northern Colbert County. But the line as a whole is tracking east, bringing a whole lot more rain to our neck of the woods. For that reason, a flood watch is still in effect, lasting through 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Some of us saw several inches yesterday. Many more of us are going to see several inches today. Now, yesterday was the 31 alert day. Today is not, but it does still have a level 1 out of 5 risk for severe weather. That's because some of these storms that come a little bit later on could get somewhat dicey. So that's why I have us in that risk. As we head through the rest of the afternoon, this line in the shoals is going to continue to track east. We will see isolated cells break away east of I-65 in that time. So I don't want you to think it's only the shoals that's getting that rain. All of us could see a pop up but the Shoals is seeing the most of it this afternoon. That line tracks east and at 5 o'clock it's still making its way towards I-65, but it hasn't quite crossed over. Fast forward to about 7 o'clock tonight, whether you have outdoor date night or you're going to be walking to the car or taking the kids out or headed to Friday night football for big game Friday night, you're going to want one, an indoor plan B, and two, if you don't have that, an umbrella. Now here's what's really important. This whole line right here where you see these kidney bean shapes, that means we could be seeing much stronger storms. That line is going to be moving east through the night and it is highly likely to have a lot of lightning associated with it. Whether or not we get a severe thunderstorm, we are still going to get thunderstorms. So if you're headed out to Friday night football and you're sitting on a metal bleacher, I really want you to promise me the second you see that lightning, you're going to head in the car or head inside somewhere to stay safe. That line stays with us through the rest of the night, sticks around all night long. So even if you start the first quarter in dry conditions, by the time you get to the at least uh, halftime, if not before then, you're going to have a whole lot of rain in your neck of the woods and that carries us right into Saturday morning. Remember that we're going to pick up right where we left off. Most of us expected to see about one to two inches of rain today from right now until seven o'clock tomorrow morning. However, some of us could see even more than that, which is good news. The Shoals is still in a severe drought. All of us are still in some kind of drought. If you're headed out right now for lunchtime, well, we're warm sitting at 76 in Huntsville, 75 in Muscle Shoals and 72 in Coleman. Not hot but very, very muggy, so we're feeling that summertime warmth. Not much of a change later this afternoon, 80 degrees for our high temperature, 76 and rainy tomorrow, and then shooting the gap, 78 degrees on Sunday, but a whole lot less rain. So let's pick back up where we just left off on Saturday morning. Early in the morning, 8 a.m., talking widespread rain. One or two pockets of those, of those heavy downpour pours and storms, but for the most part, it's that widespread rain. That stormy activity is less likely. Saturday does not have a severe weather risk. Rain sticks with us all throughout the day Saturday on again and off again through bedtime and into the overnight hours. And then Sunday, we're talking early morning rain. However, by the time we get to lunchtime, almost all of that is out of our way. So 80 degrees today with a whole lot of rain. Whoa, I don't know what just happened there. 80 degrees today with a whole lot of rain by the time we get to this weekend. Saturday, by far the rainiest of the days. Sunday morning, looking at some localized downpours, but Sunday afternoon starting to see some clearing. And next week, looking at a whole lot more sunshine and highs in the upper 80s. Look at that. It is slowly, uh, next weekend will officially be fall. So the 22nd. we're kind of just drifting on down into is it. Is next weekend the 22nd yeah. already? Yes. Wow. September is flying by. Who knew that one? Saddle up. <laughs> <laughs> After the break.